What are some reasons that boards fail and what should they be doing to ensure their effectiveness? I think boards um, fail when they are either um, not fully engaged, right? If they don't understand the business strategy of the organization, if they don't understand the underlying assumptions and the sensitivity of the assumptions, or if they don't understand the environment in terms of external risk and trends that could really uh, affect the business. So I think it's a matter of having good insight in terms of what drives the performance of the company, the revenue drivers, the expense drivers, the risk drivers, and also foresight to be able to look uh, forward and around corners in terms of what things could really impact the organization. So I think boards need to be engaged, active, but at the same time, again, respecting the role of management and not uh, micromanage, because if you micromanage, then the relationship between the board and management uh, would not be very effective. How much of the board do you feel had impact on some of the things that have been going on recently in organizations that we've seen going back to Enron or Volkswagen or Wells Fargo? What role do you feel the board played in that? I think we've seen a, 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 a sea change in how boards um, fulfill their uh, obligations. I think historically, boards were not as engaged and active. They were more cer ceremonial. Right? You might go uh, play golf, look at some reports, and kind of going through the motions historically. But I think today's boards are much more active, much more engaged, uh, asking the right you know, uh, questions, challenging management on their uh, assumptions, asking for um, you know, the right feedback loops, and if they don't get the information they, that they need, I think they have to make some difficult choices and, and, and changes. So I think boards today um, are under a lot of pressure uh, from institutional investors, uh, activist investors, uh, regulators, shareholders, uh, and I think they are really fulfilling the role in a much better manner. I think it's really important to have a, a good uh, expression of your risk appetite. So risk is not a bad thing. You, you have to take risks to be in business, but you have to understand what they are. Uh, you have to understand what levels uh, of exposures are appropriate, and you have to understand what's the risk return trade-offs that the company face. So I think first and foremost, you know, having good policies and monitoring company performance on, on an ongoing basis. Uh, and things are going to happen, right? So I think it's really important to have good risk escalation, that when things go wrong, it gets escalated and gets resolved be before it becomes problematic. So that's you know, a matter of having the right risk es escalation processes and, and policies in place and getting the right reporting and responding to the um, emerging risk that, that, that's going to come about.